Hi everyone, ready to join me for a cuppa and a bit of a sewing chit chat? Stay tuned, I've got lots to fill you in on. I hope you're all doing really well. I've got a little bit of uh, sewing talk for you today. I'm sure you're going to enjoy a bit of the content I've got here. I'm here in my garden. I'm actually under my mulberry tree and I'm going to show you a bit of a visual so you can see just how beautiful and shady it is. It's my little kind of getaway when it's warm in summer to get a bit of shelter. I just love the coolness the leaves give, but the mulberries are slowly merging. There's a couple coming out. Another few more weeks, these will be beautiful, juicy mulberries. So a bit about the Dali Society. If you're new to the channel, my name's Kristen. Uh, the Dahlia Society, of course, is all about sewing, where I get to talk to you about sewing inspiration, sewing patterns, new fabrics, and just general talk about creating your own wardrobe. And as well as that, you may have seen the title, the Dahlia, or I know a lot of you call it Dahlias. We call them Dahlias here in Australia. I think it might be the American pronunciation, I'm not sure, but doesn't matter how you say it, Dahlia, Dahlia, it's the same thing. And it's a beautiful flower that grows here in very late summer to autumn. Gorgeous big varieties, all different shapes. I love growing them. So I'm going to talk to you a bit about what's happening at the moment. The, of course, the sewing challenge that I'm hosting in collaboration with Gabrielle from Cloth Edit, which is so shirty 21 hashtag but I'll let you know there are so many entries coming through in, on Instagram if you haven't ever posted before now is the time to find the courage to do that because I've got a lot of uh, viewers that are doing their first time posting on Instagram they've got the courage to put up a make and it's just so wonderful to see uh, people maybe that haven't been confident enough to do that in the past the challenge is a great way to break through and to start sharing your makes because that's what it's all about we're not here to judge or critique any kind of sewing abilities or um, you know sewing techniques we are looking purely at just beautiful um, shapes and colors and prints and I think it's wonderful to see how people have adapted that whole shirt pattern into maybe a beautiful shirt dress or maybe putting a big statement sleeve on. So it is, it is fantastic to see people really uh, embracing this challenge. There's some great prizes to win. Uh, I'm going to link them all below. If you haven't seen all the prizes, there's a huge prize bundle for first, second and third prize. Um, fabric to win, wonderful patterns as well. So make sure you get on and have a look and see exactly what you can win because it's very worthwhile um, to post your shirt makes for this month. Um, I think till the 7th of November, you've got time, plenty of time to make still and to enter and get in on the challenge. So I know, yeah, a few of you have said that they preferred the whole random draw thing. A lot of you have said that you would much rather see uh, a judged version of events because it really then sees the work people put into it and people are rewarded that way. Um, but also random draws are a thing that I do quite often on the channel. And there is a huge uh, December Vlogmas special coming with many random draws happening. I can't tell you much more other than it's gonna be a huge event. Uh, on the channel I've got many sponsors on board uh, so there's going to be a lot of random draws happening in December so stay tuned for that because I love giving back to my viewers that way too. Now I better let you know what I'm wearing because as I say I always forget to do that uh, this is lovely fabric from Cloth Edit which is a sponsor of the So Shirty. Um, this is called Inspired Patch it's a beautiful fabric a lovely design uh, this is actually the cotton linen version that I bought some months ago now um, back in might have been April and I made a Helen's Closet Ashton top with the sleeve hack I'll show you some pics of that this particular print is now available in the beautiful linen silk blend so that beautiful luscious uh, drapey fabric uh, it's got quite a bit of body as well but it's just stunning so if you love this print you can go ahead and look on cloth edit at the silk linen blend version but Everyone knows I am obsessed with green. I've got majority of my wardrobe, I would say, is green. <laughs> I can never get enough because I love every shade of green. I just feel really good when I'm wearing it. It is. It just popped out to me straight away, especially that kind of boho, the patchy kind of quilty patchwork look to it. It is just something definitely that I um, straight away thought I had to have in my wardrobe. So. Um, I love wearing this and it's just the cropped kind of version. It's the longer length version of the Ashton top. So yeah, Helen's Closet, of course, 
great patterns. Speaking about Helen's Closet Patterns, uh, I just noticed this morning I was um, sent an email about a little collab they're working on with Cashmere Patterns. They are really good friends in the sewing community. Uh, I think it's great how everyone supports each other like that. Helen has actually spoken about how much she loves Cashmere Patterns and in particular Jenny Rushmore from Cashmere Patterns as well. So the code is Cashmere uh, X Helen. So basically if you use that code on Cashmere Red's website, you will get 20% off all their patterns. So it's just a great time to take advantage of one of their patterns if you're loving seeing that. And also, uh, it's I think till November 1st. And also, don't forget that the Cashmere Red book, which is ahead of the curve, is actually due for release any day here. I know a lot of you uh, in the Northern Hemisphere have got your copies already. I'm still waiting for mine, but love Cashmere Red patterns. Um, they do have options for bust sizes as well which is fantastic and they have increased their size range uh, up to I think it's a size 32 and down to a size 12 so it, it really crosses over a lot of um, size ranges. I love the look of Cashmere It um, bundles as well if you're interested in one of their bundles they do have special discounts if you buy a lot of their patterns to get it in a bundle format so that 20% off does come off the bundles as well so a great time to purchase if you love Cashmere It patterns. So I'm really excited to make a few of those patterns when the book comes. I have seen um, people flick through. I'm going to give you guys a look at that book and do a bit of a review on there as soon as it comes so if it's something that you're interested in I'm sure it's great to have a bit of a sneak peek uh, at a book before you go and order it to make sure it's got everything that you you're after in there i think it's given a lot more sewers that inclusivity of having uh, that broader size range and especially things like doing full bust adjustments which um, jenny is the queen of doing that as well so if you don't know if you're new to sewing you don't know what a full bust adjustment is a full bust adjustment is for a person with a bust increase from their upper to their full bust if it's more than 7.5 centimeters between those two measurements usually you'll find most patterns don't allow for that much of an increase and you'll you'll get fitting issues and things like puckering and for a lot of ladies with larger busts it's always been a really massive problem so she will give you instructions in her new book just how to go through and maybe give just about any pattern that you have in your pattern um, collection a full bust adjustment to make it fit nicely because Look, it is so lovely to be able to sew your own clothing, but to be making it fit perfectly to your body, I think that's what we're all after, that perfect fit. And the more that you sew and you get used to making things to fit your body, you realize that those little things make all the difference. And talking about full bust adjustments are still on the topic. Uh, I did get an email from the assembly line, fantastic pattern company as well. Um, Kirsten is actually on the um, assembly line, is actually giving tutorials on doing full bust adjustments. And that is especially for a dartless bodice. If you want to uh, figure out how to do that, you need to go and look on the blog for the assembly line and they will give you uh, instructions and details and tutorials. I think each week they're coming out with a new tutorial about how to do a, uh, a dartless bodice for a full bust adjustment. So that's fantastic. And the assembly line, of course, they've got some fantastic patterns, especially their oversized shirt, which is a really great one for the So Shirty Challenge as well. Another new release, which is an, another updated version, uh, By Hand London, uh, which is a fantastic UK based pattern company. They've got the Sarah shirt that's been out for quite some time. And they've just over the weekend released an add on. Um, it's an updated version of the shirt that you, if you've already purchased, just it you will get an automatic upload of their uh, add-on dress feature which is just a long line shirt dress with the lovely ruffle around the bottom so you can make that in either the shirt or the shirt dress so it's a beautiful uh, like a trapeze shaped shirt it does have an option for a tie as well but the actual shirt dress is really lovely on too now the b cup version in that sarah shirt dress is 2 to 24 also got the d cup option which is 16 to 38 and I'm not sure if this video is going to go out in time, but they are 20% off till the 18th of October. So you may have just missed this, but it was advertised on my Instagram. If you haven't followed along on Instagram, I do um, quite often post things like sales or any different events that are happening over the weekend. And it's a great way to follow along and see what's coming up on sale. Uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a more like a news feed. If you follow along with my grid and also my stories, you'll be updated to see what, um, what I've seen in the sewing community that's excited me then maybe uh, I'll know that maybe it might be something you're interested in as well. So definitely worth following on Instagram. Uh, and don't forget for the So Shirty hashtag, you need to follow myself, the Daily Society, and also Gabriella Cloth Edit and tag us both as well as using that 
uh, hashtag so shirty21 to be in the running to win those prizes. Now I'm working on some shirts at the moment. I am working on some iron patterns. Now iron patterns have also released a brand new shirt. I'm going to pop a pic up here so you can see exactly what it's like. It's a beautiful modern style shirt with like an overlay at the top. Love the look of that, in a, especially in a crisp um, white shirting fabric. Uh, unfortunately for me, I love the look of a white shirt, but I just way too much of a grub to wear pure white. I love the way it looks. It's just a stunning way of showing off detail, uh, but I find that I just ruin anything white. I just, yeah, I'm one of those people that definitely can't be trusted with, with white, but I am really loving a lot of my tools I'm using as well at the moment. If you haven't got things that help you with your shirt making, uh, these little things are inexpensive. They can really help you finish off your shirt to that level, that next level that they don't look handmade, but um, things that will just finish off the detailing. So things like um, your uh, buttonhole chisel, don't use an unpicker because Everyone I know that's used unpickers over time have made that tragic mistake of just taking it that bit too far and tearing into fabric. And once once it's torn through, very, very hard to, to redeem that um, buttonhole and that beautiful fabric. So think about getting a little buttonhole chisel. They're really inexpensive. That one's a clover one. You can get them online. I'll link uh, underneath all my little tools here so you can then, if you wanted to go ahead and, and purchase, you can do that. Most of these are just purchased through little... Um, independent sewing stores that I use here in Australia as well. But you can get them on Amazon, um, places all around the world. But that's a great little chisel. And also, if you're doing that, don't forget to use things like Fray Stop or Fray Away, which is like a little like a liquid bonding glue. Be very careful with that too, because you don't want to be dripping that all over your fabric because it can get quite messy. But once I've done my buttonholing chisel, I'll just then go around the little, little stitches and let it dry for a couple of hours before you go ahead and um, you know try and get your button through the buttonhole because you don't want to get into a mess. But yeah, that just dries clear and it does prevent your buttonhole from unraveling and fraying. Um, things like your Slim Flex expanding sewing gauge. These are fantastic. If you haven't had one of these, they've been around for, for years and years. Same packaging actually has been around for many years too. And you can see it helps you evenly space your buttons and buttonholes. You can even use it like a little um, template if you wanted to do that or um yeah just you can space it out as well which is fantastic but there's so many different uses for the sewing gauge as well you'll see it's also great for doing things like pleats um, box pleat pinch pleats uh, on the back that it does show you all the different uses there uh, excuse the background noise there's a bit of uh land getting developed not far from us there's some machinery out there and i think someone might have a a whipper snipper or a mower out but yeah it's always the way as soon as i come out the nice weather to film we'll get the gardeners out but i'm not going to knock that because it's so nice to get outside at the moment and we're out of lockdown by the end of the week here in melbourne we are finally out of our long long lockdown um, our vaccination rates have climbed high enough that they have allowed us all out of lockdown which is fantastic so we get to see friends and family that we haven't seen for so so long um i have got relatives i've got um you know i lost my beautiful auntie back in july um and of course the funeral was held the week that we were, we were out of lockdown for a little while and we head straight back into another very strict one after that so i haven't seen a lot of my relatives and my cousins uh, since the funeral and i think we really need that um bonding and healing time to kind of remember Lynn and move forward and we haven't been able to do that and I think that's part of the grieving process is to, to get someone your life and give them a big hug and um, yeah it's been a really really weird time for everybody and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are really going to be celebrating um, just getting a bit of normality back and um, you know I know the shops are going to be very very busy and very full so I'll probably We'll be staying away just maybe for the first week or so and then i'm dying to get you guys out and uh show you around some of my favorite fabric stores again because i do know that you love seeing me take the camera around and show you around some favorite favorite fabric stores there's quite a few i didn't get to earlier on in the year that i wanted to show you and i'm really excited to to get out and about and show you that so that will be happening very shortly um Another little hack, I've been using a lot of um, 
hemming tape or bonding tape it's so good when you're doing things like plackets for your buttons and you need to do top stitching and you, you know you find you use a million pins to line it up before you top stitch because it tends to shift if you use things like a bonding or heat and bond tape that one's a really fine one and you just press it with the iron in between the layers and it just sits really nice and flat and sticks together and you find you don't need to use the pins at all or maybe just a few and when you top stitch it just gives that beautiful lovely flat finish you can use it for things like um, binding necklines or hemlines as well um, i wouldn't be without that i have the knit version and the woven version and i had the woven version in a couple of different weights um, but i find that really invaluable for, for my sewing i must always have some of that in, in the sewing desk because i just think it's a, a real time saver and it gives that professional finish to your garments too another tip i've been talking about lately is uh, revisiting my 80s past teenager of the 80s uh loving the soft small size shoulder pads i think they really give uh your body if you're like me and you've got those kind of drooping shoulders i wish i had the statuesque you know long neck and shoulders but i don't it's just i am who i am um so i find that i want to be kind of leveled out a little bit sometimes depending on what i wear um, and i've bought myself a set of um, or a few sets of just some nice little soft cotton shoulder pads and one of my lovely viewers had actually commented that the easiest way to just sit them in instead of sewing them into every single garment if you want to put them on your bra strap is to sew a little loop around the top so what i've done i've decided to do a velcro the top top and bottom and that way I can put them on I can put my under, under my bra strap and then fasten the velcro over the top of the bra strap to fix it and have it sitting just exactly where I want it without having to sew it into every single garment because um, some things don't need shoulder pads and other things do I just think they make all the difference if you just sit them in the right spot just at that edge there they kind of give a bit of balance I think a nice neat little shoulder pad can really do the trick there so that's a great hack I can't remember the viewer whoever you were thank you very much for that tip um but yeah, probably go back and have a look through all the comments to see but yeah you'll know who you are I think it's a great little handy tip and that yeah I think the velcro works well but you could also do a little maybe a little button and a piece of elastic even a little press stud yeah whatever works for you I'm sure that you'll find a way around that but yeah I love that little tip now I am doing a little bit of pattern hacking on a couple of my shirts because we're heading into spring summer and some of the things I've decided to shorten sleeves maybe there's a pattern with a long sleeve and we're wanting to sort of heading towards more summery things now if you're like me and you like a bit of pattern hacking i have found a simplicity 1930s vintage pattern that is a lot of sleeve variations i just thought this was fantastic because if you like to hack a pattern and you want to uh, you found a, your perfect pattern but you want to give it a different look this is fantastic so you can add on uh, there's uh, eight different sleeves there I just think this is brilliant there's actually two different versions of um, two different patterns um, the other version I think yeah had the same amount so it's quite a lot you can play with there um, but I'll show you the line drawings as well just so you can see exactly the amount of options you get there so I just think that what what a great basic um, pattern you know set of patterns to have there in your stash that if you're wanting to do a little bit of playing around with some pattern hacking um, I especially love that beautiful butterfly sleeve and that gorgeous puff sleeve. What a statement that would be uh, to put onto a dress. So really, really happy with that. So it's the 8506 Simplicity um, set of patterns, a vintage pattern there. But great to have in the stash for doing a little bit of playing around. And of course, at the moment, the statement sleeves are just everywhere. So. Now, I noticed that Gabrielle has got a brand new release of some fabrics. I think it was Friday night. And that was purely from being a subscriber to her newsletter. She has got some gorgeous fabrics, uh, some new linen silk blends out. I'm going to put some pics up so you can see. Oh my goodness just works of art these fabrics the, the stunning colors and the floral pretty much looks like an oil painting to me it's just like a scene um i love both of those I, I just i think one of them is the lake scene and one's a golden hour but yeah i love especially love the blue and i'm actually really really thinking about purchasing some of that now my stash doesn't need the fabric but my heart 
really needs that fabric because I could just see all the beautiful things I could do with that. But there is some fabric that she kindly sent me. I'm actually making, um, heading towards Christmas, the Valo dress by Named Clothing. Love that dress because that got that beautiful separate piece, that sweetheart neckline. And this is absolutely stunning. I think she still does have some left on her website. I've already pre-washed this. It's a cotton, um, sorry, it's a linen silk blend and just the colors in this are stunning i actually showed this on my instagram feed and a lot of you went on to buy that because you just saw how beautiful it looked in the light um, it's a really lovely blend that linen silk is just going to be beautiful to wear in the warmer months here but um, yeah don't forget she does have international shipping as well if you're interested in your overseas you can order and get it shipped internationally but look look at the colors in that so i'm actually picking up the lavender lilac color uh, for the bodice the top piece I'm going to do that plain lilac color and I purchased that from her as well and this will be the actual part of the, the actual main dress so I just think it's going to be really lovely and light and cool to wear in the summer months but I want to show you a picture of that little bird there how pretty is that but you know it was a hard choice picking up the color of the um whether I went for the mustard and she actually showed me the gingham it went really well with it as well the lovely yellow color gingham um yeah there's just so many combinations you could put teal with that as well but it would be a beautiful shirt as well I think this fabric would just be stunning so loving all the birds and the flowers it's very um reminiscent of like a Japanese style patchwork as well um yeah just a work of art the fabrics that she has chosen to be there on her store i just think there's so much thought put into what she has there um, very curated collection and cloth edit and while i was there i actually pre-ordered as most of you would have by now a lot of a lot of people went on to order these and that's the uh, kylie in the machine advent calendar this is full of labels i'll be opening this for vlogmas for christmas and going through all my little tags i just think this is absolutely beautiful so the pre-orders i think are over now you can actually go ahead and order online there if you're wanting one of these cloth edit do sell them as do most other sewing good sewing stores as well so full of little goodies um i'll give you a little sneak peek uh, of the doors because I am a sucker for advent calendars. I am one of those people. Um, I've bought, I've ordered a beauty one from Adore Beauty. I think that was just uh, last week. I've only just got let out for pre-order, and I'm onto that one. I think there was another one from Coco Black I ordered for Christmas for myself because you know I think after being in this lockdown period, we've all had um, felt that we've needed to spoil ourselves. We've been through a lot this year. And yeah, why not spoil yourself? Um, don't feel guilty. Just go ahead and do it. Um, so there's all the little doors. <laughs> so we've got the 25 doors there. So yeah, isn't that cute? I'm just dying to open up and see what's inside. So the Kylie and the Machine labels are great for adding into your clothing, your garments, and putting that little personalised touch in there. But I actually um, had a joke with Gabrielle, and she just said to me, "Oh, look, look how well the, the colours matched." It was um, not on purpose, but when I opened up the box, the, the actual parcel, we just noticed how well they coordinated the colours together. But I am so excited to to open that up and to make that dress as well. So, um, yeah. So what have you been up to this week? Have you found that you've um, got a bit of sewing inspiration back? Are you tackling the sewing, heading into the new season? Are you finding it a bit easier to get motivated? Or are you still um, sort of mulling over what you want to sew and maybe doing a bit of fabric shopping as well? Because that change of season is a great time to, yeah, to start putting some little plans Maybe write down some little uh, bits of inspiration. And also Pinterest, I think, is fantastic for finding inspo as well. I do have a Pinterest board uh, with all of my patterns. And look, they aren't organized as well as they should be. They've, I've got them in sections like dresses and jackets and shirts. Um, but as soon as I purchase a new pattern, I will add it to my Pinterest board. So if you want to head over and have a look at that, uh, you can see as well. And a couple of you have actually asked how, how do you operate Pinterest? How does it work? I'm pretty sure if you head over to YouTube, you'll find tutorials on how to follow Pinterest and how to make your own Pinterest boards for inspiration. There's plenty of them uh, online for you to see. So um, yeah, um, as far as shirt sewing goes as well, I know there are so many tutorials on YouTube for doing things like collars and collar stands. So if you're following a pattern and you're having a little bit of trouble navigating that, 
don't forget YouTube can be your friend and you can really learn so much on there. And a lot of what I've learned over the years, I have learned from looking at YouTube. I find that watching a video, the visual always helps me more than just reading uh, an instruction word format. So go ahead and look at what there is to offer on YouTube. It's always great. Well, thanks for joining uh, me in a cuppa today. I hope you've enjoyed what I've had to show you. I've got some makes to bring you by the end of the week. I'm going to show you a few patterns that to get your so shirty uh, inspo happening. And also uh, some dresses, some, some shirt dresses that are just about uh, ready to cut out and to sew up as well. So I'm really looking forward to wearing some of these, getting out and about and seeing some friends and maybe going out for some lunches and enjoying some of this beautiful spring weather. So take care, everybody. Give this episode a thumbs up if you enjoyed it today and I shall see you very shortly for a new episode. Bye for now.